Hello and welcome to lesson 32 parametric versus non-parametric tests. In this lesson, we will try to cover the basic concepts about parametric and non-parametric tests and when to use each test. That means when to use parametric test and when to use non-parametric test. And lastly, we will see some of the parametric tests along with their counterpart non-parametric tests. Let me start from the basic concepts. When we say a parameter, it is a fixed measure describing the whole population or it is a characteristics which describes the whole population. For example, population mean. When we say statistics, it is a characteristics of a sample. For example, a sample mean can be a statistics. So parametric statistics are used to make inference or conclusion about the population parameters based on the samples that we have drawn from the population. Parametric statistics is the one which has information about the population parameters. So in parametric statistics, we do have information about the population. So we do have knowledge about the population parameter. Parametric statistics is in which specific assumptions are made about the population. In the case of parametric statistics, we do have specific assumptions that we have to consider. On the other hand, non-parametric test is the one where the researcher has no idea or no knowledge regarding the population parameters. And there is no assumption in the case of non-parametric tests. In general, the parametric statistics or the parametric test is more powerful test in detecting a difference that truly exists. So our priority is first we have to check we have to check the assumptions of the parametric tests if all the assumptions of the parametric tests are fulfilled or if the tests can be fulfilled so we do so we use the parametric test because it is more powerful in detecting the difference that truly exists. If, if the assumptions cannot be fulfilled or if the assumptions are failed, so we go for we go for the non-parametric tests. So first we have to check the parametric test. If the assumptions are failed, so we go for the non-parametric tests because the parametric test is powerful than the non-parametric tests. Let's proceed to when to use the non-parametric and when to use the parametric tests. So first we have to check the parametric assumptions. If the parametric assumptions, if all the most common or the basic parametric assumptions are fulfilled, so we have to use the parametric test because it is more powerful than the non-parametric test. If it is failed, if the assumptions are failed or cannot be achieved, so we have to go for the non-parametric test. So now let us see side by side. So the basic assumptions of the parametric test is the normal distribution of the data. That means the frequency distribution curve should be the bell curve, like the bell curve, or there is no outlier here, or the mean, the median, and the mode are equal. So if this is satisfied, so we have to check the other assumptions. If it's not satisfied or if the data is not normally distributed or if it is a skewed distribution, so we have to go directly to the non-parametric testers. And the other is the data should be collected. In the case of parametric tests, the data should be collected randomly or random sampling should be used because ultimately our objective is to infer about to infer about the population based on the sample that we have drawn from the uh, population. So random sampling should be used in the case of parametric tests. And the other is it requires large sample size. In the parametric test, it requires large sample size. Whereas in the non-parametric test, it is used for even a small sample size. So if the sample size is small, so we have to go for the non-parametric tests. And it is measured in the interval or ratio scale. In the case of parametric tests, the level of measurement scale is interval or ratio, whereas in the case of non-parametric test, the level of measurement scale is nominal or categorical and ordinal or ranked scales. So if it is nominal or ordinal, so we have to 
go for non-parametric tests. And the other is in the case of in the case of parametric tests, we do have the population neology, whereas in the case of non-parametric tests, population neology is not required. So to use either parametric or non-parametric, we have to check these uh, assumptions first. Now let us see the list of parametric tests and some of their counterpart non-parametric tests. So the measure of central tendency can be uh, measured with mean in the case of parametric test, whereas in the case of non-parametric test, measure of central tendency can be uh, checked or can be measured with media. And the correlation test can be done in the case of parametric, Pearson correlation can be used. In the case of non-parametric, Spearman rank correlation can be used. And the other is uh, one sample test or the t-test. The one sample uh, t-test can be used in the case of parametric test. And in the case of non-parametric test, uh, Wilson test for one sample can be uh, applied. In the case of two dependent samples, t-test, so paired sample t-test can be used in the case of parametric test and Wilson uh, test can be used in the case of non-parametric tests. And in the case of two independent samples, so in the case of parametric test, unpaired sample t-test can be used. In the case of non-parametric test, man with me test can be used. By the way, when I say parametric test, so you have to check all those uh, assumptions that we have listed in the previous slide. And in the case of more than two independent samples with one independent variable and one dependent variable, so one way ANOVA is used in the case of parametric test. And uh, cross wallis test, cross test can be used in the case of non-parametric tests. If two independent variables with one dependent variables exists, so one way repeated measures ANOVA is used if it is parametric test, if the assumptions of parametric test cannot be fulfilled, so the counterpart, uh, the counterpart non-parametric test is Freder's man ANOVAS can be used. So to use either parametric or non-parametric, first we have to check, we have to check all the assumptions. After checking the, those assumptions, so we can decide whether to use parametric test or non-parametric counterpart. This is the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening and to encourage me to do more videos, please subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and share to your friends. Thank you.